So with just over a week to go until I join Lev on his Walking the Nile expedition, I thought I'd give you an update on how I'm preparing, in particular, how I'm looking after my feet. Obviously, walking 200 miles on your feet, the uh, the health and care of your feet is quite an important thing. So, um, got my Altberg Desert boots. Um, I've been breaking them in. I've been doing about six miles a day, and this has done a couple of things. Uh, I'm going to be doing about 20 miles a day with Lev. I um, mean, trying to go at a pace that's fairly similar to what he goes at. He does walk pretty fast, uh, so that's just trying to get a bit of fitness up. Um, also, I've been learning the most comfortable most comfortable combination of socks, ways of tying my laces, other things that general comfort is going to make a difference. But the most important thing uh, that I've learned from this week or so of walking is uh, where I get friction and hot spots on my feet. Now that's important because that's where your feet are rubbing and that's what leads to blisters. So obviously, obviously you don't want to be getting blisters whilst you're out walking the Nile. Um, so more importantly than uh, just dealing with the blisters once you get them is preventing them in the first place. So if you know where you're getting rubbing, you can take action to stop it getting any worse. So I found out, for example, that I get rubbing on the heels of my feet. So to prevent this, I've been putting tape on my feet like this. So this is the point where it rubs. Um, and I have put this piece of tape on my foot so it goes from a bit that doesn't have any rubbing all the way to another bit where there isn't any rubbing. Uh, but of course, that tape will fall off if I'm wearing it for an entire day. So I've got, I've got these other two bits, this bit around the middle front of my foot and this bit around sort of my mid-calf. And I've been trying different methods of taping to see which is the most effective. And this is one that I put on this morning. Walked into town and back, that's about six miles. Uh, and it stayed on really well. I also tried seeing what would happen if I showered and then dried my foot out and see how it was afterwards. So this is a pretty effective way of taping my foot. The, I'm not now not getting a blister even after I've walked that distance uh, and it will last until the next day so having it last a day or so is quite good then changing it again. Um, then I've also got a load of kit to look after my feet so now I've worked out how to prevent blisters what I can be doing. This is a bag full of talcum powder so every time we stop and uh, every morning and every evening I'll put my foot in there um, and uh, put loads of talc on it that's going to stop it getting wet which can of course lead into infections, trench foot, other things that you really don't want to be having. And then if I do actually get blisters, I've got to find a way to deal with them because obviously um, Lev isn't going to want to stop just because I'm not able to keep up with him. So here is the kit that's been provided to me by Dr. Will. He's given me some great advice, Will Charlton. It's a little, um, little uh, waterproof container to hold everything in. And then here we've got some tweezers in case I get any needles, uh, sorry, needles, any... Um, uh, any any uh, splinters or anything in my foot. I don't have them with me. I've got a pair of scissors um, just to cut any tape or anything. If I do end up starting to get blisters on the back of my foot, I can put this in between the tape and my foot on the zinc oxide tape so that it's not going directly onto it. There's um, Compede, which is a classic for if you do get a blister and the skin does come off, you put the Compede on uh, and that will stop it going red raw. That kind of acts like a second skin in the meantime. Plasters, if I get a, a tiny little um, blister and just want to pop it with the scissors, put some antiseptic iodine on it, and then maybe put the plaster over and then put the tape on top. Um, yeah, and then there's the zinc oxide tape itself. So that's how I'll be looking after my feet as I walk down the River Nile. The time that I've had over here uh, breaking these in and walking with these has been essential to help me understand um, the best way to tape my feet, the best way to look after them, and try it in an environment where if things, if I do make a mistake, then um, I can always practice again the next day. So that when I do actually go out and do the walk with Lev, I should be as prepared as I possibly can be.